Hey, what's going on guys? Today I got an awesome recipe today. I don't even know what to call this, but it's good. <laughs> and it's super filling and we make enough at one time so it'll last you three or four days. So this is really good for meal prep. I promise you'll love it. So stay tuned to the end and make sure you try this for yourself and let me know in the comments how awesome it is. All right guys, let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is preheat the oven to 400 degrees. and cover some sort of panel with some tin foil or parchment paper. And set that to the side. And go ahead and uh, preheat two pans on low. Next we're going to wash all the vegetables and other things that need to be washed. So first, mushrooms. Once those are washed, I'm going to go ahead and throw them on our pan that we covered in tin foil. And once the oven is done preheating, I'm going to throw those in there for about 30 minutes and kind of see where it goes from there. Right here I have a whole head of broccoli. I'm going to go ahead and rinse that and then throw it in the Ninja or any food processor. And the last thing we're going to do is take some kale and wash that. Another thing I did forget to mention is that we're going to be cooking some brown rice as well. So I just got this awesome rice steamer which helps out a lot but if you don't you may want to go ahead and get that started before you do everything else. And I'm, I'm throwing in two cups of brown rice. The last thing we're going to wash is our chicken. And again this is something you may want to do in advance because chicken marinates better when you do it you know for a couple hours. So to marinate the chicken, right here I have two tablespoons of olive oil and three tablespoons of Bragg's liquid aminos, which is basically a substitute for uh, soy sauce. So if you can't find this at Walmart, just use soy sauce. I'm also going to throw in some pepper. Like I said guys, this will come out a whole lot better if you let it sit for at least two hours. But uh, I'm not doing that today. Alright guys, so in each pan we're going to put a little bit of olive oil. And the one on the right is going to be for the kale, and the one on the left is for the broccoli. For the kale, we're going to throw on some uh, two tablespoons of minced garlic. It's going to give it a great flavor, and don't be scared to add a lot. Remember, we got a lot of kale here, so a little overkill is good. And for the broccoli, I'm going to add some some Red Hot's buffalo sauce. You can take a look at the nutritional label. This doesn't add any fat, calories, carbs, nothing. So add as much as you want depending on how spicy you like it. And 
Once you see that the, um, the minced garlic is starting to change colors, go ahead and add in the kale. Just a little bit as, at a time. Alright guys, so far everything's smelling pretty good. Everything's going great. I'm going to go ahead and throw this chicken on the grill for about 10 minutes. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, so the chicken just finished up. I know that looks pretty good. So, I'm going to go ahead and weigh it to see exactly how much I have. So we got 41 and a half ounces of chicken. That's great. Okay guys, so far so good. Everything's done except for the rice. So I should have started that a little bit sooner. Lesson learned. But everything's smelling awesome. All that's left to do wait for the rice and then portion everything out and this is going to be great and so far it's only taken 45 minutes so that's pretty awesome all right guys i'll see you in about 10 more minutes i have 570 572 grams of brown rice and i'm not going to be using all this for my meal prep i'm going to save some for some other meals i'll probably use about three fourths of it i'm going to season it with a little bit of adobo it gives it awesome flavor first thing we add to every single meal is the brown rice that's going to be our base, main thing that fills us up. And if you're cutting, it's a good idea to weigh this out so you know exactly how much you're getting. So in here there's 110 grams left, so I use, what, 500, 460 grams of rice. Next, and th this part you can just go add as much as you want. All you're adding here is fiber, essentially, with the broccoli and the kale. So add as much as you want. I'm going to split this up. Try to do my best to split it up evenly with each meal. So far it looks pretty good. I actually wish I had a little bit more. Now we're going to add some kale to each one. Now I'm going to add a couple mushrooms to each. And last we just add the chicken. Alright, so this can be the last step if you want it to be. What I'm going to do is sprinkle a little bit of crumbled goat cheese on each one to add a little bit of extra flavor. Check that out, guys. All that food to last me five days plus extra chicken and rice. So as always guys, thanks for watching. It ended up taking me about an hour, but it would have been a little bit sooner if I would have started the rice earlier because I waited like 10 extra minutes just on that after everything had already been finished. So learn from my mistakes. Um, so yeah, I really appreciate it and please try this out. You, I guarantee you'll love it. It's great for meal prep and it's super filling and it's low calories. And um, I guess that's it. I'll see you guys next week.